All right, this week's JMC Garage Talk video, I am talking about the latest in the Kia Sorento, and that is the hybrid powertrain found in this 2024 Sorento. Now, let's kind of dive into this powertrain just a little bit because there is a lot that's going on here, but it's pretty cool what Kia and Honda have accomplished with this powertrain. So, number one, uh, there's variations of powertrain, but for the Sorento and also for the upcoming Carnival Hybrid, which is their minivan that they just updated and it's going to come with the same powertrain in it, we have a 1.6 turbo coupled to a 6-speed automatic. Now, in between the 1.6 turbo and the 6-speed automatic, there is an electric motor that's sandwiched in between the two. It's an actual drive motor, so when you're driving at low speed, and the electric motor is turning the drive system and not turning the, and the engines off, it's actually flowing through a six-speed automatic transmission. Pretty unique, you can actually feel the gear shifts just a little bit as it's driving the front and basically, since this is all wheels, driving all wheels at the, at the time. So, again, so this particular hybrid system, we'll talk about the engine, but this particular hybrid system uses two electric motors. So it has, one here and then it has one right here you want to see that you see that big heavy belt in that spring that is the second electric motor now let's kind of talk about what that motor does so the second electric motor driven by that big serpentine belt so sorry my son is mowing in the background uh it's driven by the serpentine belt and what that does it's a motor starter generator so what that electric motor does is when the engine needs to be started, it uses that particular motor starter generator to start the engine. And when the engine is started, it then produces power to go back into the high voltage battery. So that's what that motor does. Now, there is a one-way clutch in between the 1.6 turbo and this six-speed automatic. That one-way clutch is able to disengage when it needs to drive the vehicle forward without the gas engine on. It re-engages when the gas engine comes on and everything kind of flows together where it can drive the car via the gas motor, the electric motor, through the six-speed, out all four wheels. Now, this has a mechanical all-wheel drive system. It is not an E-axle like you find on Toyota. It's a mechanical system, almost like what you find on an escape hybrid. So basically the six speed and the final drive goes to a transfer case. That transfer case will split power in between the two front wheels and then there's a, what they call a prop shaft that sends through it, um, a shaft or a drive shaft that goes all the way to the back of the car and that drives a rear differential with a clutch pack and that's what engages the all wheel drive system for this particular vehicle. Oh, never mind. I thought I heard something. Awesome. All right, so that's what drives the system. Now let's talk about the engine a little bit. So again, what we have here is a 1.6 turbo. Now this 1.6 turbo, we have the turbo in the back. This, I believe, is an air-to-water intercooled turbo. It is on air-to-air. -air. We don't have extra plumbing underneath the hood of this thing. Oh, no, wait. I do apologize. We do. It's actually an air-to-air -air intercooled turbo. I'm so sorry about that. So fresh air comes in here, goes through the air box, goes back to the turbo, which is in the back of the engine. It gets routed around to an intercooler. And then up front here, you see this pipe right here with some corrugations in it. That is the charge air pipe. When it actually comes out of the intercooler, which is mounted in front here, and then goes through the plastic intake, which goes into the engine itself. It's actually an air-to-air -air intercooler. Now. What's unique about this engine, again, it has dual variable battle timing for both intake and exhaust. That's pretty standard. Um, it does use direct injection only. It does not use an actual uh, dual injection where you have port and direct. It's only direct injection only. But it seems to run pretty smooth, and this 1.6 kind of has a nice ground to it. Um, it does have a vacuum pump, which is this guy right here, and the direct injection pump is on the back side over here. Um, after that pipe there. So, again, it uses 0W20 oil. Um, this particular vehicle with the engine, the transmission, everything is all sourced from Korea. This Sorento is not made here in the States. It's actually made in Korea and sourced from Korea. So it's kind of a unique thing. So, 
Again, 1.6, this engine has been proven. I believe it's been used in quite a bit of vehicles and they've been using this hybrid system for at least a few years now. And I haven't had or haven't heard of any issues that Kia has had with this 1.6 turbo coupled with this hybrid system. And from my experience driving it, it drives pretty smooth. Now it does produce about 227 horsepower. I believe the electric motor is 49 kilowatts of power, um, but not a lot of power. It's actually a little bit better coming up in the Carnival Hybrid where it uses the exact same powertrain, but a little bit better or stronger electric motor sandwiched in between the 1.6 and the actual transmission. Now, a couple of things to note about this hybrid system, this monstrosity, <laughs> <laughs> up on top here is the actual DC to DC converter where the power is then taken from these electric motors it runs an AC compressor it also gets power from that motor starter generator and then is able to transfer on that power convert it right here it has its own cooling system uh, the engine cooling system if I remember correctly is back here this is the engine cooling system this is for the hybrid system right here so, and then you have all these high voltage cables. This goes right to the high voltage battery. You have the, all these other things in this. This mounts right on top of the transmission so it can deliver power right to the electric motor. Um, anyway, other than that, it's a pretty unique system. One of the things I will say is when this hybrid uh, powertrain is engaged and then it calls for all the power, the 1.6 is quick to come on. It starts right up. It's very smooth, nice smooth transitions from running electric to running hybrid or running with the engine on and it actually delivers power pretty quickly there's a slight delay it is smooth but there is a slight delay and then it takes off uh with some decent power now 227 horsepower is not a lot i'm not going to lie to you um i think 0 to 60 for these is right around 7.9 seconds uh, which is not bad but it's not the fastest thing in the world but what this is geared more towards is for efficiency and reliability versus really out, you know, outright power. So I appreciate and applaud Kia for doing that. Other than that, everything seems to be simple to work on. You have uh, the check the oil right here, add oil there. You have coils right on top here for the 1.6 turbo. Um, easy to get to the air filter, easy to kind of do maintenance if you need to around this. This is not an overly complicated system. It seems kind of, um, Intimidating at first with all these orange wires all over the place, but I think Kia and Honda have done a good job with this particular system And I will say I'm pretty impressed with it. It actually works really well very smooth transitions And uh, I I have no issues with this hybrid system So if you guys want to know more, please like comment subscribe hit the bell notification I upload every single Wednesday morning and every single Saturday afternoon with James garage talk List in the comment section, maybe you own one of these or you know somebody owns one of these. Let me know what kind of fuel mileage you're getting. I'm getting right at the advertised, which is right around 34. It's a little bit less on the highway. I was getting only about 30 to 31. Don't know because I was running air conditioning. It was more demanding on the on the hybrid powertrain. But um, anyway, um, that's, that's what I was getting. But for the most part, this is a decent system. And I believe Kia has done well with this particular system. All right, thank you guys. You guys be blessed, have a wonderful day. And make sure that you catch me on the next one when I review this thing this coming Wednesday morning. Stay tuned for that video.